stupid. Okay? Not only is the theory stupid, it's dangerous. Charlie Darwin said, at some future period not very distant as measured by centuries, the civilized races of man will almost certainly exterminate and replace the savage races throughout the world. If evolution is true, has one type of man evolved farther than the rest? Henry Fairfield Osborne said, the standard average intelligence of the average adult Negro is similar to the 11-year-old youth of the species Homo sapien. Do you mean Negroes are not Homo sapien, Henry? That's stupid, okay? Thomas Huxley said, no rational man cognizant of the facts believes the average Negro is the equal, still less the superior of the white man. That's stupid. The Mormons teach uh, that the uh, Negroes don't have, they used to teach anyway, that they could not be saved. They were cursed with the curse of Cain. That's stupid. Ernst Haeckel said, the mental life of savages rises little above the higher animals, especially the apes with which they are gene genealogically connected. Their intelligence moves within the narrowest bounds, and one can no more or no less speak of their reason than that of the more intelligent animals. These lower races, such as the Vedas or Australian Negroes, are uh, psychologically nearer to the mammals, apes or dogs, than to civilized Europeans. We must, therefore, assign a totally different value to their lives. That's stupid and dangerous. But if you've seen the movie Quigley Down Under, where they called Quigley Down to come shoot the Aborigines, that's exactly what was happening. They were killing Aborigines. They thought the Australian Negroes were inferior. These two folks went down there to collect skulls for museums. Article right here says, uh, the New South Wales missionary was a horrified witness to the slaughter by mounted police of a group of dozens of Aboriginal men, women, children. Forty-five heads were boiled down, the best ten skulls packed off for overseas. They killed them to get their heads for museums to show evolution. 1904, World's Fair was held in St. Louis. Two thousand primitive people were put in dis on display to show evolution, how that the pygmies slowly evolved to the modern white man. Odabango was taken away from his wife and two kids and put in a cage with chimpanzees. He was a pygmy from Africa. He went insane and killed himself. Thomas Rose or Theodore Roosevelt thought the Indians were an inferior species because he thought they hadn't evolved as far. You won't understand what happened to the Indians until you realize what happened with the evolution theory teaching this stuff, that some of the races are more important than others. Roosevelt said, I wish the wrong people could be prevented entirely from breeding. He thought the Indians, or the immigrants from Europe, Scotland, Ireland, or the Orient were a threat to American society because they were inferior. How many of you have ancestors from one of those places? See, you're inferior. Yeah. 1871, Congress scrapped all treaties with the Indians because they thought, you know, they're just animals that they hadn't evolved as far. You've got to read about the Trail of Tears. Of course, evolution came out way before 1859 with Darwin's book. Darwin just made it popular. 